paradigm of absolute control. And that's why we're just out here doing simple things, pointing out that we're meant to be in nature and be natural. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. I'm angry. I've had enough of these people. Little bones of Christian murder scum. Now when giant death factories keeping babies alive. You're selling their body parts. What more do you need to know about these people? I go out and face these scum. They literally crawl out from under rocks. They have green looking skin and they run around screaming we love Satan, we want to eat babies. I have them on video. Hillary's in the creepy weird six stuff man. She sleeps in the same room with that creepy weird old woman whose mother wears a hood over her head. That woman number one is ugly Imagine how bad she smells, man I'm told her and Obama just stink Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur It's close to that evil and I feel it go Ah, ah, ah We're such self-centered crap We don't even know it's had itself rising up against us Millions of pointed people of the very worst type And I'm so pissed We're gonna steal your daughter at the mall What's up? <laughs> oh, Jesus. How you guys doing today? It's so whatever. It's a Monday. I skipped like Saturday. And I was going to do Sunday. And I was even worse yesterday. So now I'm back. And I feel real bad. But I have to be here. <laughs> Please, Jesus, spare me. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope I'm not lagging on YouTube's end. It doesn't look like I am. I might be. Fuck, I don't fucking know, man. Well, let me, I should probably unplug my camera, actually. Let me unplug my camera real quick. Two seconds, because I know it's going to be freaking tripping balls today. Everything's tripping balls, man. It's just tripping balls on my nose. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to uh, tell you some stuff in here in about 10 seconds. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if that's going to do anything. 
But it might. It probably won't, though. Let's be honest. It probably won't, though. Oh, God. I think you have to, like, restart your computer every once in a while, or else it just won't. It'll... Yeah, it's just freezing every five seconds. That's good. That's good for uh, my first stream in a while, you know, for there to be lag and shit happening. That's pretty cool. Oh, anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. We're back. Um, I have a sinus infection that is unwavering. It's one of the worst I've ever had in my entire life, which is hilarious because I just had one uh, two months ago or three months ago. I've never had one in this frequency even kind of close like this. I've been in bed for three days. Um, it's been really freaking bad, dude. It's been really bad. So I love you guys. I'm glad you guys are choosing to hang out with me. We got a lot of stuff to talk about, and I'm gonna go as long as I can. Um, I'm sweating bullets. I'm basically on fire all the time. How do you man? I don't even remember. Okay, no, it's a 60 frame. Let me change it to 30 frames, see what happens. 30 frames per second. Is it still freezing? Yeah, it's still fucking freezing. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, then, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, a lot of stuff to talk about, boys. But we're going to go as long as we can, so we'll see what happens. Uh, But I have to turn my camera off every once in a while to use my hanky because it, it, it looks terrible, boys. <clears throat> but I'm, I need you to suffer through this with me. Um, Be there for your boy. Yeah, you think you can live stream inside your car at racetrack, JT? No, that's not allowed. NASCAR doesn't allow that. That's a twenty-five thousand dollar fine, I think. Twenty-five thousand. I might be wrong. It might be less. Oh my god, I might restart my computer to be honest and keep the stream up while I do that. I think I might do that. To be honest, I think I might do that because it's freezing. It's if it freezes every four seconds, I'm gonna fucking throw something because I'm in a bad mood already. So. Uh, <laughs> but if I do the thing, oh, you know what's really cool? Here, I got an idea. I'm gonna play something for you guys, and I'm gonna restart my computer so you guys can have. I, I don't know if it'll continue playing. Well, or I don't know if it'll continue uh playing when I turn it off. But um, we're gonna do this real quick, and I'll be right back in like a second. But we just revealed the Dover car, the race car for Dover. I know the stream is starting off very poorly. <laughs> I kind of expected it. But here, we're going to play this. I'm going to restart my computer. And then we're going to continue from there. So make sure you like the show, even though it's not much of a show yet. Now, That's what do we got to do here? The, how do we get Cyber Frog, uh, you know, smacking uh, heel versus baby face like that on the front of your car? Uh, that's what I need. Uh, that's, now, first of all, uh, look. That. Like a wrap? You can cover yes. that, dude. Yeah. Beehive. I want, like, honeycomb, like, beehive material all over your car. And then Cyber Frog and Salamandroid. Uh, you know, uh, and maybe Rainbow the Brute, too. See, we could do this. Yeah, we could easily crowdfund, like, uh, the supporting uh, Cody's race car, putting Cyberfrog, putting the Laughing Man, putting whatever, put the Comic Skate logo on it and everything. You would do anything, yeah. I, if we were to do it, I think it would be cool to do it, Todd. How <laughs> would that go? That would be amazing. But do you guys want to do this? Do you want to do a crowdfund where we raise the money to support Cody in a race? Now, Cody's a great guy. Everybody loves him. Look at this. Hell yes. Crowd saying yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. People are buying. Um, and you uh, and everybody, credit. anybody, anybody could come down to Talladega and get pit passes. Just hang out and we could stream with the car and go fast. Gentlemen, start your engines. How that worked. 
it actually just lets me leave. I could just leave and continue the stream. You know, it'd be hilarious. I could just upload 12 hours of me playing a game, start a stream, and then go leave like Hassan Parker. You got, and I could just, you could just watch me do that. That'd be hilarious. And also, look, my camera's fixed. Isn't that so great? Um, anyways, welcome back, boys. Sorry, um, we're going to be fighting through a very rough illness right now. So we got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about J.K. Rowling uh, threatened to be arrested, to be arrested over uh, offending some peeps. So that's pretty funny. Uh, we're going to read that, and we're going to talk about some Diddy stuff. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff, and we're also going to show you the um, the car for Dover. And also, talking about the quitting YouTube for racing. Ooh. Um, it's going to get really, really fast-paced, and I wasn't really expecting it until it started. Shut your bitch ass up, computer. Yelling at me. Um, real quick, let me... Uh, yes, by the way, that track you just saw on the video, that's the one we're racing at in three weeks. That big-ass 200-mile track, 200-mile-an-hour track, that's it. Talladega, boys, where is it at? Where's the Super Chats? Here we go. Billy Hatcher. Well, the $100 Super Chat was wondering why you skipped Saturday. I hope you're joking about quitting YouTube and wondering why J.K. Rowling was trending the past few days. J.K. Rowling is always trending, uh, uh, always trending. She's trending because she'll say, I don't care what you identify as identify as doesn't matter to me you know um but she's she's uh for the the separation of women and like the uh oh my god womanhood i guess <laughs> i'll go through the tweets we'll get it we'll give a rundown of it there's a she's talked about a lot of shit um which got her labeled a transphobe which has got her in hot water because in a lot of countries overseas if you misgender people or something like that, you can. It's actually against the law in a lot of places now. Um, if you say a racial slur, you can go to jail. If you say a racial slur on online, you can go to jail. Um, unfortunately, for these other countries, they don't have uh, the freedom of speech like America does. So, thank you, Billy. I'm going to put you on the car again, Billy Hatcher. Every single, every single one hundred dollars super chatter hire goes on my car for Kansas. Kansas Speedway, uh, I think it's May 6th. Yeah, May 6th. That'll be the first Tim Cast car race. Yes, the first car, first Tim Cast car race. I think it's May, it's May 4th. May 4th. Very first Tim Cast car race. Awesome. Thank you, Billy. I love you, and I appreciate you. We're already a fifth of the way to Naked Snake. It's the sick edition, the very sick edition of Naked Snake. Ed Piscor seems to be gone forever. PDD News has died off, and AZ is still fat. That is all news for you. Yeah, so... um. Ed Piscor, I'm actually kind of blown away because I watched for the last two weeks people roast this motherfucker, and I, I don't know who he is. I've just noticed this roasting happening. And then he kills himself, and I'm like, holy shit, that is crazy. Thank you, Project Done Poorly. That actually is something I should probably look at. Um, I don't know anything about the situation other than I saw Adam Sessler acting like an effeminate bitch, which he always does. Let's be complete. It's Adam Sessler. Um, that is the like the most effeminate annoying bastard in the world god it's the sla most slappable like just pathetic man on he's not even like i'm using man loosely obviously so anyways that being said um i saw adam sessler and he was saying ed piscor was a friend and he was literally shaking and couldn't believe it and i'm like you literally wish death on your entire family you you quite literally tweeted that you wish all of your family that are on the right side political should would die you said you hope they die, all of them. And I would probably, I would probably wager that you would mean that about everybody on the right side of politics. But you're sad because your friend died. Eat my ass. That is the most preachy, virtue signaling dude on the face of the earth. That guy's stupid. No thanks. I'm not trying AI, AI, AI features on Google. I can barely talk, boys. I'm very, very sick. If you guys have not noticed, I'm sicker than shit ass. So um, it's been 14 months. Billy Hatcher, thank you. So thank you guys for your super chats. I appreciate you guys so much for your constant love and support. I'm so sorry I missed Saturday. Um, I got to I gotta be real transparent with you guys real quick before we move on. When I miss one show and not for a race, okay? Yeah, Because when I miss a show for a race, I can't, like I'm going to a racetrack, I'm getting in a car, buzz, you know? When I miss a show because I'm laying in bed, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm I'm 20 feet from my computer or my studio, and I miss a show. I feel like such a pathetic piece of shit. I feel like I'm failing the entire world, and I'm I'm just it makes me feel worthless, and I hate that feeling. Fucking hate that feeling. So, um, yeah, Saturday I felt real bad. I was I, I'm sure I talked to a bunch of you in DMs about how bad I felt about that. Um, and I know people don't generally care, obviously, like. They don't care if I miss a show, but for for some reason, me, when I do it, I care. It's weird. I know no one in the chat cares. I know you guys are all like, "Oh no, we don't. We're fine as long as you feel." I know you guys are cool. I just suck. <laughs> I suck. I think I think I'm suck. So, um. Anyways, thank you guys so much for all your love and support. You're the reason I'm here. What's up, Rosa Codal? How you doing, baby? Stop DMing me, bro. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't help DMing you. I gotta DM you. Make sure you guys like the show, by the way. Thank you. Slag Lust says, "Here's two for the Goomba." You did fail me. Thank you. I appreciate you. So when it comes to racing and YouTube, guys, the racing and the YouTube thing, let me wipe my nose. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so terrible. Um, it's it's better today, though. In the last about six hours, I've started feeling a little bit better. Um the congestion headache that's making my eyes feel like they're about to shoot out like rockets is kind of waning, but I'm sweating so much. I'm so hot. I have the air on upstairs and downstairs and in my lower floor. I have the air on every single floor. I have a bunch of different AC units, like, you know, the outside units. I have three of them for my house and I have them all on freezing ass cold <laughs> and I'm sweating so much. Whew. It's brutal. Two from the Rosa snap. Oh, what's up? The rows of peeps. How you doing, outlaw? I love you. The meat sweats. So, uh, anyways, um, so this racing deal has snowballed since Tim Bull Tim Pool came on board. I had no, absolutely, I had no plans to race in NASCAR full time. That was absolutely not even on my radar. And then when Ethan jumped on board. It got me a few races in. And then when Tim Poole jumped on board, which I'm I'm sure he'll announce it. I'm sure we'll do a Tim cast or something soon. Um, but I'll I'll have a 3D model of the car. I'm gonna announce everything officially here soon. Um, but they everybody's already paid. It's everything's we're gung ho, we're ready. Uh, but I'm racing the rest of the year. And it is brutal because once Talladega hits, which is April 20th, Dover is the 26th, okay? Kansas is the, is the 4th of May. Then it's Nashville, I think the 11th or 12th. And then it's Flat Rock, like the 18th. And then it's Charlotte, the 24th. And then there's one off week and then four races, then one off week, four races, one off week, four races. And I think that's it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. And... I know it sounds weird, but just getting on a plane and going to one race and getting in the car and practicing and waking up at 7 a.m., practicing, you know, doing the thing till 9 p.m. at night, leaving, coming back, qualify a race, leave, fly back home. To do that one time, it's brutal. I know it, it doesn't sound like it, but it's brutal. I could barely move after the race in Pensacola. I could not move my hands. It was brutal. And I'm doing that 20 times, 21 times starting at Talladega every weekend with four off weeks, 21 in a row. Huh. So the YouTube is going to take a backseat to that shit because, and I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm working on a way. Um, I'm working on a way to kind of bring my studio with me so I can just kind of commentate and have a good time and whatnot. Um, but that's kind of the idea right now. So, oh, but YouTube's going to slow down a lot probably because I, unless I can figure out something must like bringing the studio with me, but that shit's so stressful, so stressful. Um, but I would rather, I, I have to do it at least once, right? My goal, my goal in January was to take the green flag at a NASCAR race. And now I'm running, somehow I'm running all year. The goal was just to take a green flag 
And then if the car exploded, I don't give a fuck. I'm, at least I did the thing. I did a thing I'm supposed to, you know, I was been trying to do my whole life. I know a lot of people can't understand that. Like a lot of people think that you're supposed to just. How it started was people were mad. People were extremely mad at me for taking sponsorship because they thought I should sell my house instead of take sponsorship to race. Um, completely ignoring the fact that every single driver and or team in every motorsport on the face of the earth all have sponsorships to fund their venture. But they thought I was above all that. The guy that doesn't have money at all, <laughs> like to race. So they were angry at that. You know, the people that are on Twitter, they're angry. Um, they're angry at that. And plus they didn't like the EBS. And then they were angry um, that I, you know, didn't qualify for Phoenix, which was a fucking fluke thing. Then they were really angry that I got a top 10. And if I end up getting a top five this year, they're going to be even more angry that I didn't win. And if I win, they're going to be even more angry that I'm just a bitch. That's kind of how this works, right? Um, a lot of people are very ignorant to this thing, and they think, you have to you you should be able to just go out there and win in like the lowest funded ride in the field against billionaires. You're supposed to just go out there and beat everybody's ass. Like that's how that works. Even though you're down 150 horsepower and you don't have a pull down rig and you're using shocks from four years ago <laughs> and an engine from eight years ago. You know what I'm saying? But uh with the funding we have, we're gonna be able to bridge the gap a little bit. So the goal is to lock down a bunch of top tens and maybe luck into a top five. That's kind of the goal for this year. Um, and if I never race again after this year, I don't give a fuck. I did this and I can, when I'm 75 years old, I'm not going to be worried about the troll in chat that was angry that I was racing. Right. I'm going to be reminiscing on the fact that I did the one dream that I had since I was nine years old. And that pisses people off, man. I totally fucking get it. That pisses people off to high heavens when people are out there doing shit and they're just sitting in their fucking couch being pissed off because other people are accomplishing shit. Instead of doing shit. I get it. I was that guy in my like early 20s. I would like watch YouTube and I would get pissed off when people were growing on YouTube because I always wanted to do YouTube. And then I grew out of that shit and I started just building myself up. And then it started to excite me when my friends started doing the same thing. I was like, this is awesome. So I started enjoying when people got success rather than just be angry that other people were doing what they wanted to do. But you'll never be able to escape those people. But those people are extremely necessary because they are, ironically enough, what pushes me forward. So thank God. Because if those people weren't there, call me a bitch every two seconds, I would have never... I probably wouldn't have went to Pensacola and got that top 10. I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have flown to West Virginia and poured my heart out trying to get support. I would have done, never done any of that shit. So these people that think they're being dicks and they think they're getting one over on you and they think they got a got you on you actually push some of us forward, which is me. I know it does. It does tear down a lot of people. I've seen friends get fucking destroyed over that shit. They read every comment and they fucking think about it at night in their bed and they're like crying. They can't, they can't like function because somebody said they're a bitch online. <laughs> so I get it. I get it. But that shit just motivates my ass. People have been doing it for years and I, I'm full on support. Oh, fuck. I'm out of breath because I can't breathe out of my fucking nose. <sighs> Billy says, just do one stream a week. And once you're done, you'll be able to stream more. I think I can do more than that, but I'll let you know, Billy. Um, you'll see. If I can take my studio with me, I might be all right. But those Saturdays get fucking brutal. Brutal. We get to the track at 7 a.m. and I don't leave till 9 p.m. Right. Grifty, get Timmy to lend you his RV mobile studio. Does he have one? What? What? What the fuck? Hey, Tim. What's up? Thank you, Grifty. For 12 months. That's a whole year, dude. Josh Engelbrot says, bro, you got to take care of yourself, but it's damn good to see you. Thank you, man. Hope you feel better soon. I'll see you in Talladega. What's up, dude? You're going to be in Talladega? Dude, so many people are going to be at Talladega. Watching my dumb ass go 190 miles an hour. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate you. I love you. Mario Trujillo says, happy to get uh, to live your dream. Stay safe. Please don't go up in flames. Don't give the bastard satisfactions. Fight. Fight on the Ricky Bobby. Yeah, dude, that's something that needs to be said. Mario Trujillo. I don't have TV. I don't know how to watch these races. They're all on Fox Sports 1 or Fox Sports app. Dre Sledge. 
the uh, the ARCA E series races, exclusive E series races, is in Flow Racing, and they're on YouTube. The rest are all on Fox Sports. So if you have the app, you could watch it. There's probably other ways to watch it. Selling the high seas. Mario, thank you. Uh, but there's something that needs to be said about this. Um, the usually the usual trolling methods don't work on this kind of thing because people are terminally online and they think their same trolling efforts to tear others down will work on in this spectrum. When I'm going 190 miles an hour racing at Talladega, I'm not thinking about the troll tweet. Sorry, I'm not. I'm racing at Talladega. Fulfilling Cody's nine-year-old dream, racing against other professionals at Talladega in a NASCAR-sanctioned event. I'm not thinking about the trolls, man. This is not the same thing. This is not fucking YouTube. This isn't content creation. This isn't that kind of shit. Don't think about that. I'm not going to be thinking about that. As much as you like to think that, I won't be thinking about that. I'm going to be thinking about going fast and brooming redneck style, you know? So your usual stuff just ain't going to work. This is silly. I I do I do encourage it like after and before, though, so I can read it and do you know use that as my power. Mario, holy ozone! Just do you, bud. Keep it up. We are... 350 from five or from neck and snake for the 289th time in a row. I could be wrong, but I think it's 289. I'm out of breath because I can't breathe out of my nose. This is it's like I'm a fucking fat kid, bro. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Rob. I appreciate you, dude. Grifty, I'm gonna come see you at the Monster Mile. Awesome. Hell yeah, dude. We'll have the frog car. We'll have the frog car at Talladega and Dover, but they're two makes. Two different cars entirely, like not even the, in the same spectrum. So, all right. Thank you, Grifty. And Disco Cobra. Oh my God. We have 500 people liking. Make sure you like the race. I mean, <laughs> the stream. Doing some legendary stuff. Keep on rocking the free world. Would love to see one of your races. Uh, any coming near PA. Would love to come to one. I got my 383 Strucker Chevy truck. Thing's a monster. Hell yeah, dude. Take it to a show and win you a trophy, man. Um, PA. The closest to PA is probably Dover. I'm, it's in Delaware, right? So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's probably pretty close. I know Zia is going to Do Dover. And for... If we had a race at Pocono, it was three hours for her. So I think it's pretty close. I could be wrong. I am not a geographical scientist. So <laughs> thank you, Disco. Let me put you on the car again. You're on there three times, Disco Cobra. Thank you. I really do wish we were running Pocono. Are you going to join what NASCAR Flash Legend? I'm already, uh, I, I, my first race was two Saturdays ago. We finished 10th. Um, It's called the ARCA series, but it's, it's owned by NASCAR. It's just they use the name ARCA because it's it's the tradition. It's been called ARCA since like the 70s. So they just continue to keep the name ARCA. But they consolidated all the series into one. It's called ARCA East and ARCA and ARCA West. So that's how they did that. It used to be called all kinds of different shit. But now it's just one car, one spec, and they have all of the, the three series for the national series. Disco Cobra, love you, dude. I appreciate you so much for your red boy. Thank you, my friend, for the red boy. We are halfway to Naked Snake already. Already on this makeup stream where I'm sick as ass. I can barely breathe, so I got to wipe my nose real quick. Two seconds. You guys want to see my rag? <laughs> it's a rag it's literally just a washcloth I, I change it out every single uh like couple hours though so it's not like the same one for days it's this one um it's a white one thank you mario Trujillo says i'm gonna try to make kansas bro that'd be so cool that'd be so cool um so it's gonna be fun oof oof oof, oof. How about, how about, how about? oh my gosh arc is a poor man's version of the nascar <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I disagree. <laughs> well, ARCA is NASCAR, but um, the top teams in ARCA, the, the top teams in ARCA 
their cars are faster than cup cars. They're, I'm pretty sure their their Phoenix speeds were way faster than Cup. I'm pretty sure. I could be no, I could be wrong. I need to look. Maybe not Phoenix. Maybe Daytona. I don't remember. Maybe Charlotte will be. But the Arca cars that like Venturini run and Gibbs run, they are monster cars. They are fucking monsters, man. So, thank you, Cole. Appreciate you, Cole. Cole Trick. Okay, so let's talk about J.K. Rowling. I really appreciate you guys so much. I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty uh, nervous about jumping on stream because it's been like a weekend, and I felt real bad about Saturday, but we got a lot to talk about. Oh, and also, take a look at the Dover ride, boys. The Dover ride is here, and it's ready. Take a gander how cool this freaking looks. It looks even cooler on the Toyota body, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into Toyota at all, but I think it looks really cool. Look how cute this is. I think this looks badass. The number will be 06 for the car. Looks cool, doesn't it? I think it looks great. <clears throat> so, it's going to be great. Will you be in Nashville the last weekend of June, June 30th? I'll be in Nashville and it'll be dope if you were here. Uh, our race in Nashville is May. 12th, I think. That'll be the only time I'm in Nashville. Whenever our race is. Nivage. Nivage. What is that? Gar Garling. Garving. Go That's the one thing I've never heard of. I he I've heard of everything. I asked Rose if it was pink on a super chat, and she had no clues what I was talking about. So innocent. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Royal. We appreciate you. How innocent. How innocent. A uh, Chad Llewellyn says, Cody, are white monsters good to drink when I'm on a cut? It's been a few days. Yeah, they're they're fine. They they're zero everything. They're just liquid. They probably have some cancer causing agents in them, but that's fine. Hey Rosa, you're still in here, baby. I appreciate that. I like that Rosa just lurks. That makes me feel good about myself. All right. So JK Rowling is under threat of being imprisoned. <laughs> what a world we live in, man. It's 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 pretty fun to watch. Look, as a person that lives in the US that gets to benefit from the freedom of speech within reason. Okay. Okay. Within reason, I lurk while I work. Hell yeah. So, um as somebody that gets to benefit from the freedom of speech, it's fun to watch other countries go crazy. Okay. Crazy. That sounds terrifying, Gar Garviel. Absolutely terrifying. Pump shit through my damn natal cavity. You crazy as hell. <clears throat> so it says, J.K. Rowling could be investigated and arrested by Scottish authorities for misgendering people. <laughs> damn, imagine living in Scotland. Scotland has introduced a new hate crime in Public Order Act where calling someone a he, even if they're biological male, could be a criminal offense. Great. Rowling is now taunting authorities to arrest her as she refuses to back down on her opinions on transgenderism. She says, I'm currently out of the country, but if what I've written here qualifies as an offense under the terms of the new act, I look forward to being arrested when I return to my birthplace of the Scottish Enlightenment. The maximum penalty under the new act is seven years in prison. Seven years in prison. Just for a moment. Just for a moment, I want you to ask yourself, how many years, now I look, different state, country, I get it. How many years did Joseph Rosenbaum spend in prison for brutally penetrating and assaulting five children under the age of 11? You know the guy that celebrities defend because of the Kyle Rittenhouse thing? Poor JoJo. Poor JoJo. I mean, obviously, celebrities are going to defend that. That's what celebrities do. Look at the Nickelodeon documentary. Um, Joseph Rosenbaum, for brutally assaulting and penetrating five 11-year-old and under children, served 12 years in prison. In Scotland, you can get seven for calling someone a he if they don't want to be called a he. Imagine that. Think the Lord for the country we live in. And by that, I mean the U.S. where I live. Look, we may have our issues, but I can call somebody a bitch tit motherfucker to their face in America. I can call somebody 
a, I could call someone. I, I, I'm not going to say anything crazy, but I could call some some crazy shit. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going through my head. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this stuff. Scotland is wild. Scotland is wild. But luckily, being in Alabama, I can say whatever the hell I want. Because luckily, Alabama and the U.S. and freedom of speech. But that doesn't exist in the U.K. And there's people being jailed every single day over this shit in the U.K. <clears throat> what was it? Uh, what, what happened to um, Spank a lot? Oh, shit. What is his name? What's the Scottish guy that his dog did a Nazi salute and he like got in trouble for it? You guys remember his Spank a lot? Skank a lot? Hank a lot? Sir Jank a lot? What is his name? You guys know. It's a Scottish dude. Anyways, Dank. Yeah, Count Dankula. There you go, Sir Sir Dank a lot. Count Dankula did that. His his dog did a motion that kind of like whatever does this thing, you know, this Nazi salute, whatever you want to call it, and he got in trouble for it. There are people getting questioned for commenting in a comment section on Instagram in the UK. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And crazy delivery guy says, Alex Jones begs to differ on that free speech. No, I agree. That's why I say within reason. Within reason. Obviously, in the U.S., you can't walk up to somebody in public and just call them the N-word. You're probably going to get, something's going to happen. <laughs> you know, no, you're going to get your ass kicked by like 900 people. But other than that, you'll probably get charged as well. There was that family that were being real dumb. It was like a man and a woman. And they, there was like a birthday party or something, and they like called the people at the birthday party over a fence, like racial slurs, and they went to prison for it. But there was, there was some kind of law broken, but it was because they said the N word. Like, it, let's be honest. So it's within reason, right? But I don't, I feel like no one, there's some things you, you that, you're you're if you're gonna if you're gonna go up to somebody and call them a slur to their fucking face, you're probably a 13 year old edgy kid because that's not fun. It's supposed to be fun, like funny. And if it's not funny, it doesn't really make much sense to do it. So, <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, within reason. Let me wipe my nose. <sighs> I'm like talking while my like my nose is running, and I have to like. <sighs> Anyways, let's continue reading this shit. So. Or your Kyle Larson. So um, that's a funny story. Kyle Larson said the N word on iRacing, I, th I think. Right. Um, and he got. Now, look. Technically, he didn't get like kicked out of NASCAR or something. It's just his NASCAR pressured the team he was on to fire him. So that's what happened. And they would do that. And they will, they continue, they still do that to this day. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's nothing. That's not, that's not out of the normal for them. That's what they do. You know, I mean, NASCAR is the giant corporation and every single giant corporation on the face of the earth has to align with left values or die. Was it Klaus Schwab that said that? So, or said something to that. Um, there was something else in here that I was reading. It says, this law isn't just for misgendering people. If it hurts someone's feelings, anything you can say can be used against you and considered a crime. It says, the Hate Crime in Public Order Scotland Act 2021 creates a new crime of stirring up hatred relating to age, disability, religion, sexual orientation, transgender identity, or being intersex. So basically, you can say anything. If anything can even be misconstrued as something that could hurt somebody's feelings, you could go to jail. So this is just the slippery slope thing, right? This is why the freedom of speech exists in America. Because who does who decides what is bannable speech and what is hate speech? This is the thing that no one can answer, right? Because, and people, for some odd reason, people on the left find themselves, like, being for this more often, right? And um, I don't really understand why. Because... If that's the case, if that's the case, then who determines what is hateful? 
So let's for, let's do a hypothetical situation for the chat real quick. What if America they get rid of they go back and get rid of the first amendment? And they determine that uh, hate speech is a jailable offense. And they and it starts off reasonable, right? So like, okay, if you run up to somebody and you call them the N-word or something, then maybe there could be some consequences like, you know, you get a warning or maybe you can get some probation. You know, it starts off like very, very reasonable, which to be fair, I don't even think that's reasonable, obviously. But this is what people would think is reasonable that support it. All roads are paved to hell with good intention, right? So suddenly someone else comes into power, right? And that new person that comes into power is on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to politics. And guess what precedent you set? Because people, for some reason, on the left wanted it. And obviously I'm generalizing. Not all of them are like that. Probably a small percentage of them. So what happens, right, when somebody from the opposite end of the spectrum comes in? Suddenly, you're being jailed for shit. And you're like, what? This was not supposed to affect me. This is supposed to affect those people, right? It's why I'm not for any restrictions on gun ownership at all, right? And I used to kind of be, you know, open to the idea, but then I was talking to Nick, and he kind of, he kind of uh, told me this, like, way of thought. And maybe understand it, because if if for some reason the left was like, we're going to put some gun laws in place where somebody that has said this on social media, you can't buy a gun or somebody that has this condition can't buy a gun or something like that. Then suddenly. Somebody on the extreme right comes into power 20 years down the road, 16 years down the road. Suddenly. No one in the, in the LGBTQ community can buy a gun anymore. New law, because there's because it's the amendment's been ratified, right? So that's the issue. People don't realize that when you're for more government control, it may work in your benefit for a year or two or three, while the people that you like are in power. But as soon as somebody else comes into power that you don't like, they can use those same laws that you overturned on your ass. That's the issue. So no one should be for it. Oh my gosh, my nose. See, I'm talking. It's running real fast. Huh? Oh gosh, it's like it's like a time bomb. It like runs from my sinuses all the way down to my nose. <laughs> Rosa says I have breathing problems. She breathed properly in front of me. I'm offended. It could fall under that law. You know, it's very loose. It's very very loose. Like my mom's ass. Um. You did the lime green frog car for Dover. Let's fuck go. Yeah, we got it for Dover and Dega, man. Uh, Darth Revan says, I missed the first 20 minutes. What I missed? Nothing. Whole bunch of bullshit. Me crying about nothing. Disco Cobra says, I don't know about that. Dover, Delaware is below New Jersey and Philly. That'd be a seven hour trip for me. I don't know my think about it, depending on what happens. Just let me know. That'll probably be the closest. Well, we go to we go to New York. We go to Watkins Glen, Thunder Valley. Thank you, Disco, for your five dollars. We chat. Base Bunny says, Over it. Better be an April Fool's boy. Well, it kind of is, and it's kind of not. Am I quitting YouTube? No, obviously not. That would be stupid. I would lose everything. <laughs> um, but it is April 1st. Come on. I got to keep with the times. I've never done a quitting YouTube post. All right, come on. Um, but that being said, um, it will slow down because when I'm running like ARCA, like NASCAR events full-time, it's going to be really hard. So thank you, Base Buddy. Okay, to the Swiss, you're playing with my emotions, Smokey. I love you. I'm glad you're here, Katie, to the Swiss. Hope you're doing well. So thank you guys so much. We are 2.30 away from Naked Snake. Oh, let me pull up Rumble. I never pulled up Rumble chat because I restarted my computer. Hold on. Nope, stop. All right, let me pull up Rumble's chat. Capitalist pig. I think Rumble's pissed at me, so they don't uh, put my... Yeah, they definitely don't put my stuff in the the playlist anymore because I kind of haven't responded to them in a while. Their emails. <laughs> So they probably dumped my ass from the algorithm, which is fine. All right. Uh, where's locals? Ah, fuck it. I don't even know. No one talked. I don't think anybody's commented on my locals in like two months. Except for he had. Thank you, Katie, the Swiss. Appreciate you. How much that small now? Yeah. Uh, I, uh, the Rumble has been really pressuring me to use their Rumble studio. 
and I haven't, and I think that's their they're not putting me in the recommendations for that reason. Because they manually control recommendations. Like, they manually click and it pops up or it comes away. So, anyways. So, let's read more into this real quick as I wipe my nose. God, man. It's so bad. I hope I can make it the rest of the way, though. I'm, I'm going to try. Oof. So, anyways. <laughs> oh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of this is it's it, well it's not really it's not really super the same but it reminds me of when like white ladies okay when white ladies are like we shouldn't punish children of people coming over the southern border border right we shouldn't punish children for coming over the southern border border because their parents are committing crimes and they should not be held liable for their parents crimes which i agree um, i mean Pretty sure everybody agrees. Their situation sucks, but they didn't really do it. They're kids. But that same lady will say that uh, white people should feel guilt 300 years down the line, um, even though they don't have any ancestry that belongs to the U.S. <laughs> they should still feel guilt over the civil rights movement. It's like, okay, all right. Same person, completely two different views that contradict each other completely. No, damn it. I'm not trying to search up. God. That's hilariously true. I agree. <laughs> I completely agree. Um. Anyways. Yeah, so. It is going to be very interesting to see if people actually do. Uh, do get jailed for this. I know some people have already been jailed for it. J.K. Rowling dares the cops to arrest her over new hate crime law. Who is this supposed to benefit though? Right? Who is this supposed to benefit? The issue is, is you're protecting point what? Oh, two oh point oh three percent of the population. Why? I think I'm, I'm still holding to my theory and I will hold to this theory until the day I die. It is to destabilize the West because it's completely funded by foreign governments in the Far East, right? That's the I can, that's the only way I can fathom any of this shit. Because the the countries in the Far East have banned all of it. They've banned all this shit, all this stuff that we're supposed to be like sucking off. They've banned it, but they're funding all of it. Like TikTok, for example, is a good, a very, very good, uh, a very good example. TikTok's basically owned by the Chinese government. And in the West, it's nothing but degenerate bullshit on everybody's feed. Every single person's feed is like a 14-year-old trans man, like, like twerking, like in a, in a bikini and calling people bigots. It's the weirdest shit in the world. And they're like, and it's all about trans education. But if you go... To China, it's all stem field stuff. Keep in mind, they they own the app. They run all the feed. Like they set all the algorithmic feeds for every country. I'm just saying, what is the best way to destroy a nation? The 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 Soviet Union pretty much came up with the idea, right? To destabilize a country, you introduce extreme social fucking change, extreme social stuff that people aren't for and it will just destabilize and tear a country in in and out and they don't have, they can come in and take over without firing a bullet that's the soviet union's playbook why not just seems it seems like it makes sense to me gabriel not says what advice do you have for recently divorced men in their 30s um recently divorced in their 30s i guess it depends on how 30 i don't know I man my advice is never really the best advice because my situation was a little different i think because of where i live but when I got a divorce, that shit happened real fast. It was just out of nowhere. And I just downloaded Tinder and started having sex with women like every day. Every single day. And uh, I it I got over everything like within three months. I didn't care about nothing anymore. Now, I don't really know if that helped or hurt. I feel like it helped because <laughs> I didn't think about anything. So that's hard. But you, I would think it's logical getting back into the field like getting back into like basically playing the game, 
you know, falling off the horse, you get back on the horse as fast as possible. Be the most beneficial thing you can do. Thank you, Gabriel. Not we're closing in. We're halfway to naked snake boys. We have two red boys tonight, one orange and one pink away from a rainbow. Not appreciate you guys. My nose is running so much. Oh God. Oh my God. Outlaw two says did that felt empty. Same. I didn't feel anything either. But what are we supposed to feel out all to? So there's this common misconception. Well, I don't feel anything. It's like, well, what the fuck do you want to feel? If you're divorced, you're recently divorced, like very recently. What do you want to feel? Are you wanting to be in love again or some shit with some random new person? That's not healthy. Right? If you get a if you get out of a divorce after 10 years, if you divorce somebody after 10 years and you're capable of a, forming an attachment to a new girl, like within a week, you something's wrong with you. Like you've got a mental condition because that is not going to be a healthy relationship, right? Because the only reason that the relationship exists is because you're building up something false because of like a reaction to your divorce, right? Um, I felt empty from just smashing left and right. No, same. Sure. But I didn't feel anything before. I, I think feeling empty was better than feeling hurt for me, right? So... That's what I think. Mm. Yeah, crazy liver guy, exactly. Oh, my God. Whew. What's up, Baldo? Well, it's an extreme, and I'm sure a lot of people do that. Instead of self-deleting, yes. Yes, that's what you should do instead of self-deleting. Oh, my gosh. Anyways. Yeah, so download Tinder is my... my it's my uh my um advice and i don't know if it's good advice though i'm not going to claim to know more than anybody else um but i will say some people will tell you immediately to fall in love again and that's also not the answer i heard y'all hate trans women knives and axes what does that mean i'm gonna go to sleep hopefully when i wake up it's good news be nice to yourself remember to breathe you need some time lastly if it all goes tits up for whatever result Direct action gets the goods. What is this about? Scotland's Hate Crime Act comes into effect today. Women gain no additional protections, of course, but well-known trans activist Beth Douglas, uh, darling of prominent Scottish politicians, falls within a protected category. Yay! Lovingly, or, yeah, lovely Scottish last convicted double uh, uh, grapist Isla Bryson found her true authentic female self shortly before she was due to be sentenced. <laughs> To be fair, that's pretty, that's like 40 chess, right? Thank you, Brian Griffin. Um, I would probably do the same thing. I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. If I got convicted of some kind of crazy shit and you told me that I could just be like, hey, I identify as a woman and they're going to put me in a women's prison. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that. Of course. Who would not do that? You kidding me? You kidding me? You tell me you're going to voluntarily go to a man's prison? Nah, bro. I'll go to the women's prison. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, thank you. <sighs> Fragile Flower Katie, the Lautsky, 6'5", was rightly sent to a women's prison in Scotland after conviction. This ensured she was protected from the violent predatory men. Unlike the 10-year-old girl Katie sexually assaulted in the women's bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. Samantha Norris was clear of exposing her penis to a two- 11-year-old girls. Hooray! Unfortunately, she was then convicted for possession of 16,000 images of children being grabbed and assaulted. Be that as it may, Sam's still a lady for me. <laughs> Scottish woman and butcher Amy George abducted an 11-year-old girl while dressed in female's clothing. No idea why this was mentioned in court. Of course, she was wearing women's clothing. She's a woman. Amy took the girl home and abused her for 27 hours. God, J.K. Rowling! <laughs> Is cooking. She's cooking, bro. This is crazy. But most women aren't axe toters and sex offenders. So let's take uh, talk role models. Uh, Guilla, Guilla Val Valentino, that probably butchered that, wanted to play on the women's team because of sisterhood validation and political visibility. Naturally, she was given some boring cis girl's place. Yay for inclusion. <laughs> uh, uh, Marie Duel. Wadha 
head of Scottish Grape Crisis Center, says sexual violence happens to bigoted people as well. She has no gender recognition cert- certificate, but was still appointed to a job advertised for women only. Shocking. <laughs> this is brutal, man. You know, you'll notice this is like the, a common occurrence, though, right? It's a common occurrence where, remember what happened? Who was it? Somebody like brutally killed someone recently. And the first thing that people did, did was um, correct people for misgendering the murderer. Who was that? Somebody in the chat. I'm about to cough. Who was that? Somebody killed somebody recently and it was all over the news and everybody was really angry because people misgendered the person that killed. Like, I feel like when you kill somebody, you lose your right to be able to be respected. Right? I feel like, you know, look at it. Metal madman. You quitting YouTube like critical drinker as in not at all. Yeah. What's up? It is April 1st. Metalhead. Well, metalhead, um, Audrey Hell. Is that what? Uh, yeah. Let me Google that. Let me Google that real quick. Um, for a quick, you know, TLDR on that metal mad metal man. Um, it is kind of it is an April Fool's jokey, but it my sh- my YouTube streaming will slow down a lot because I'm gonna be racing every single weekend for like months at a time. Audrey Hell, that might be the person. It was somebody else, but yeah. Um, it was. It, I don't think it was a school shoot. It might have been a school shoot. I can't remember, but yeah, that that might be the person, but. It's funny that the first thing, the first thing that people on Twitter do when somebody that happens to be trans does some heinous shit, the first thing they do is jump to their defense on trans on on uh, gendering, misgendering. That's the craziest shit. Your first thing you should be doing is denouncing their crimes. You should purposefully misgender them. Just dead name them immediately, right? Is that is that unreasonable? If a trans person does a heinous crime, you should just dead name them. That's what you should do, right? Who gives a fuck? Why do they? Why do they get better treatment? Why are they held to a lower standard than everyone else? It's so crazy. Fuck! You're a human being. You're accountable for your actions, regardless of the government tries to put laws in place to make it where you're not. You're going to learn, baby. You'll learn. <sighs> you quit in YouTube like Critical Trigger, as in not at all. Thank you so much, Metal Madman. One pink boy from a rainbow night, and we're 200 away from <sighs> Naked Snake. What's up, Chris Parsons? How you doing, dude? You quit Spectrum. Thank God. Fuck him. Let me wipe my nose. Rose is so adorable. I hear I hear her her chats in my head in her voice. Um, she says I visited both men and women's prison in my area, the law field trip in high school. So that was this year, right? Um, what I've learned is that women women in prison are fucking insane. At least they well, of course they are. Women have to do some heinous shit to go to jail, right? Women can do almost anything and they won't go to prison. So yeah, if they, women in prison are gonna be crazy as fuck. It's not like Orange is the New Black, okay? Okay? You ever watch the first couple of seasons of Orange is the New Black? There's like three hot chicks, and like they're all eating each other out like every every other scene. No, it's not like that, bro. They're all 400 pounds, and they're trying to stab you. Thank you, Rosa. (laughs) More like Rosa Godel. But anyways, um, why I don't know why these people are afforded more protections than everyone else. They should be afforded the same protections as everyone else not more when people say they want equality what they mean is they want power right it's kind of like how it's kind of like women right there is no law in place in which men benefit more than women right there are no women that have less rights than men in the u.s currently but women are still fighting tooth and nail on college campuses for equality. What they mean is they want they want the superiority and they want power. Right? Because they haven't been laid in a while. 
and they're they're closing in on 30 and they don't have any prospects and they were never taught how to be a humble and nice person they're unlikable they have no personality and they have no interest therefore they're going to die alone so they're really fucking pissed right that's how that works <sighs> Chad says, I used to be a corrections officer. We had a wing specific for women, and then bitches were crazy. <laughs> All the men had stories. You could talk to them whether they thought they should be there or not. They could hold a convo. The women's prison looked like a fucking mental institute. <laughs> Again, you got to be crazy. Like, I'm, a dude can go to jail for not paying child support, man. A dude can miss a child support payment and go to jail for like a month or two. A woman can stab you in the throat. And not go to jail. Jay, get back on diet. You won't be sick as much. Doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt that shit. I was in the middle of my cut last time I was sick. And I lost even more weight when I got sick. Oh my gosh. I'm sweaty and I feel like balls. Feminists won't treat uh, special treatment. Well, feminism isn't even feminism anymore. I think almost everybody agreed with feminism, which was just equality amongst the sexes. If something needed to be pushed up to benefit men, it would be in the eyes of feminism. That's not what it means anymore. It hasn't meant meant that since like the 90s. Let's read these super chats. And let me get my nose first because it is fucking draining. Uh, uh, people on college campuses and very, very stupid newscasters like to talk about the wage gap. All the time. Very disingenuously, though. And everybody knows this. Everyone knows this. It's very disingenuous. The wage gap exists when you take every single man and every single woman in the U.S., and that's how you get your number. It's very disingenuous because men don't get pregnant. Therefore, there's a couple months out of the year where they're gaining that extra percentage. Men tend to work longer hours because men feel form they men feel more fulfilled throughout work. Women feel more fulfilled throughout nurturing and people and social stuff. This is just how life is. There's nothing wrong with this, but newscasters and politicians like to fakely claim that men and women get paid differently for the same job with the same experience. That's not how that works. There's a law in place that was put forth in 1964 to prevent that. Doesn't exist in this country and has not existed for 60 years. Right? But people like newscasters and Hillary Clinton on Twitter love to bring that shit up. Why? Because they know stupid people will just read it and get angry. They won't research it at all. They'll just get angry. Oh God! What do you mean? It's 2024 and women still get paid? Like, yeah. They're they're fucking uh, literally retarded people. What is the most? What is the most attractive voter base that you can get? Literal, literally retarded people. People that will just read a headline and that's it. That's all they need. Why do you think the only reason Trump was voted out of office was because he tweeted mean shit? That's it. That's all he did. That was his crime. <laughs> Doesn't matter that inflation is so high. My property taxes went from $1,000 to 10000 It doesn't matter that my Kroger bill went from $125 to $400. Doesn't matter that gas went from $160 to $5 a gallon. None of that shit matters. None of it. As long as your president, and I mean your intern that's unpaid, is tweeting for you. That's where we're at right now. We have somehow ended up in some alternate reality where words speak louder than actions instead of the normal shit. Actions speak louder than words. That shit hasn't meant anything in 10 years. I can't even begin to fathom how well politicians went from doing stupid ads on cable TV to transitioning into social media and doing better. It's so unbelievable. The best way to see this is go to Facebook 
and go to any article that's promoted to you on Facebook. Scroll through your Facebook feed. Find an article that says it's whatever. It's just like, oh, promoted for you, recommended to you. Go to the comment section and read the comments. Every single person on Facebook is fucking retarded. It is staggering. It's embarrassing. You can get, go, go to Facebook right now. You'll have a recommended article of a video of a hyper, hyper realistic graphics mod for GTA 5 of a car ramping and hitting something and flipping. And it's obviously fake. And the comments, every single person is like, wow, I can't believe this happened. Every person. It's we're fucked. We are fucked. We're absolutely fucked. There's nothing we can do. Think of the dumbest person that you've ever met in your entire life. Think of that person right now. The vast majority of people are dumber than that. It's fucking terrifying. And I'm a dumb person. And it scares me. That's weird. <laughs> Let's hit some of these super chats. Oh my God, Hayden. It is Rainbow Cam. You had to look into the bridge stuff. Kirsch has been covering it. She hates my ass. <laughs> it's the tip top of who's running all the DEI garbage and who's putting pressure on. It's the end of destabilizing, beginning of normalize. Look, please. Dude, send me a link or send me like a post and I'll read it right now. On uh, Just DM me on Twitter. Thank you, Hayden, for your pink boy. It is a rainbow night. Bro, I'm so sick. <laughs> Thank you, Hayden. I appreciate that, dude, so much. So much. You're not on Twitter? You son of a bitch. Well, send it to you. Email it to me or something. Come on, Hayden. Come on, Hayden. Help me. Help me, Hayden, please. You're my only hope. Thank you, Hayden. I love you. Um... <laughs> Thank you so much, Hayden. I love you, Hayden. Thank you. That's a big drop, dude. You ain't got to do that. No one has to super chat me, giant fucking super chats. Although I do appreciate it. Okay. I do appreciate you showering me with all the love of monies. I will use it towards my second Ferrari after I get my first one, though. <laughs> Everything now is going to the second Ferrari. No, it's a joke, obviously. It goes towards my mortgage, which is ever-increasing because of my property taxes. Um... Metal head. Well, I wish you well in race and may God watch over you. Thank you, my friend. I will tighten my belts every time. Every time somebody like gets into me when I'm racing, I pull my belts really tight. <laughs> Fire goddess. Oh my God, bro. What's up? Metal head. I thank you, man. Love you. That's his second orange boy. We are $100 away from Naked Snake. $100. Huh. I love my darling. <sighs> I think I'm going to be able to survive this whole stream. I feel pretty bad, but I feel actually kind of energized, too. Billy says, this is why I don't uh, want to have kids at all. Uh, uh, if I were to die and miss the payment of child support, they put my dead ass in prison. They put your dead ass under the prison. They bury your ass there. Thank you, Billy Hatcher. I appreciate you. The Royal Hui. What do you think of Paige uh, Bucker's SB speech after she won the female college athlete of the year a while back? It's short. You haven't seen it. Page, let me look. Page. Page Buckier. Let us Google it. Acceptance speech. Um, uses SB speech to honor black women. Do I have to listen to that? Man, I don't want to listen to that shit. We'll look at it. We'll 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 look at it. We'll do it. Fuck. We'll do it, okay. Isn't, isn't that just like a white bitch though <laughs> I'm about to throw up oh thank you Royal We I appreciate you I will look at I'm going to pull it up here in a second but isn't that like a white bitch though God, white women why do white women suffer so much from white guilt Jesus Christ it's because white dudes, you know, like actually, let's talk about that for a second, and then we'll look at the speech. Let's read read Rhoda's. Fuck, I'm fuck. I, I, it's come drunk. 
Rosa says the greatest argument against democracy is a 10 minute conversation with the average voter. Damn. Democracy is government for the people by the people, but the people. <laughs> oh my God. Democracy is government for the people by the people, but the people are retarded. <laughs> thank you, Rosa. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showering me with all your beautiful love. You tiny little bastard. You took four, 14, 12 shots of whiskey and you said you didn't get drunk, bro. I feel like it's like lust. I feel like it, man. I'm fighting tooth and nail to survive right now. <laughs> My congestion is so unbelievable. If you could, I wish you could feel it for a moment. I wouldn't wish it on you, but I wish you could just feel it for like a minute and then come back. You'd be like, oh, 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 oh. that crazy delivery guy. NASCAR is one season away from having the pro. No, you're going to be bad, bro. Calm down now. Tipsy, you're going to be fucking bad, bro. I support it completely. I support it, crazy delivery guy. I denounce you. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> oh, fuck. I, I denounce it. I love you. I appreciate you, crazy <laughs> delivery guy. But let's talk about that for a moment. Well, let's talk about why white women are so dangerous. It's very important. Okay, so. <laughs> white dudes are socially powerless, right? Here's what I mean. Okay. We're held to the highest standard of responsibility and accountability, obviously, because we're dudes. Any man, man of any race is. But we also can't bring social change and we can't really do anything that to make a difference because you're a white guy. You're not allowed to talk about anything. But white women hold all the exact same power and privileges as white dudes would. But they also can bring social change because they're able to claim victimhood status. It's fucking crazy. White women are dangerous when it comes to social change. They can pretty much make anything happen as long as they will it. People claim it. it white women are the ones destroying the world right now. Not white dudes. Not black dudes. Not black women. Not Hispanic. Hispanic men and women only help the world. Let's be honest. <laughs> Ain't that right, Sonia? <laughs> All right, let me get to the super chat because we going hard as hell. What's up, man? How you doing, baby? Sorry about us, you bastards. Here we go. Oh my god, metal madman with a hundred dollars super chat. We are at naked snake. Can you believe this shit? We are an hour in and we just hit it. Can we hit five milk? I probably don't think I can do that. I'd probably throw up, guy. Guys, I'm gonna be on. You touch a Hispanic woman, she gets pregnant. Yeah, dude. You can breathe on a Hispanic lady and she'll get pregnant. I am with child. Senor Cody. No, no. Consuela, you leave. All right. I have never put my balls in you, Consuela. No, no. You touch my hand. I'm with child. His name is Julio. His last name is Dennison. Julio Dennison. Like you. No! Get away from me. Let us drink tequila and celebrate. No, we're not. I will not raise Julio as my own. He is not mine. It's not happening. Please. I have nowhere else to go. If you do not stay with me, I send all my cousins to come kill you. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> They will do that shit. Hispanic women will send their cousins and their cousins will show up and they're all bald and shit. You're fucked. You fucked as hell. As soon as I look outside and I see three dudes with baggy pants on and they're bald and they got that, not, that whoosh, nice little mustache. Hey, Holmes. Oh, you're fucked. No, we're, you're dead as fuck. They are Hispanic dudes that are cousins of the woman that you hurt are more dangerous than Navy SEALs. I don't know why... During a conflict, we don't just send those motherfuckers, right? Just get Julio and his crew to go out there and rescue the president's daughter. Like, why not? <laughs> they're going to do it. And they're going to enjoy that shit, too. <clears throat> they, 
Thank you so much, Metal. Uh, let me put you... I'm sure you're not on here yet. You are not on here. Metalhead is a new addition. Metalhead Madman's a new addition to the Kansas car for my NASCAR race there. Thank you so much, dude. You are on the car. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have just hit Naked Snake for the 289th time in a row. Like the Breaking Bad dudes. Yeah, the twins. They're crazy. Thank you, Metalhead, so much, dude. We have three Red Boys already. Three. How many times is my name on the card? Billy Hatcher? Four. You crazy boy. Uh, Mint says, white women are evil. <laughs> yes. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> oh. I can't do my snake voice today, guys. I'll freaking cough immediately. Lover of the cream. Over Easter, I visited my family in NYC outside of, of the N95 devotees. And homeless people, Manhattan didn't seem as bad as social media reported. The tonal disconnect between Twitter and IRL is wild. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Um, I went to Houston recently, much of this, and it was kind of nice. Now, granted, there was a crackhead that was looked violent as fuck, though, but he didn't hurt anybody. He just like was shadow boxing. Thank you, Lover of Green. I appreciate you. Royal Wee, I do love me some Rosa Godel. I agree with that. I love Rosa. I like Rosa's little hands. She'll send me a picture of her holding something, and she got these adorable little hands. And I'm just like, oh, look at them. Look at them. She could never hold anything. <laughs> How do you pick shit up with those little bastards? Thank you, Royal Wee. Um, Street Bot Guy says, Cody messing with Latinas, with Jolo Cousins. No, no, thank you. No, absolutely not. No. Thank you, Street Bot. Superstar says, don't be fooled. This is the pink. April Fools. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> You're using my tools against me. All right. So Paige Buckner's uh, speech. Hold on really quick. I got to wipe my nose. It's getting real bad. God. My right nostril is just like pouring like a faucet, dude. It's real bad. <laughs> woo <Woo-hoo. sighs> All right. Paige Buckner. Let's just, can I pull this up on YouTube? I sure can. Isn't that nice? Isn't that just nice? but it's wrong. All right. Share this tab instead. Yeah. So we're going to watch this real quick. Um, Roadcaster. When I speak with my Mexican accent, my Mexican friends are like it. It's funny, but I do it around white women and they get offended. Wait, what? That's weird. White women are always so, oh, oh, oh. Pretty sure I just swallowed a hair. White women get uh, very offended on behalf of every race. They crave the PPC. I'm not really a Warhammer fan. I've just spent a wee too much time with the art. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know who you respond to. It ain't me. Okay. Ain't me. Yeah, Latinos don't give a fuck. There, I definitely swallowed a hair. This is awful. Oh, I should probably put my headset on, right? I can't hear anything. Eat some homemade chicken soup. Homemade. Who's going to make it for me? Consuela. I told her to leave. Her cholo cousins are crazy. Better than I could have ever imagined. Um, I'm just a small town kid with really big dreams. And I'm honored to show all the little kids that are watching this that dreams do come true if you work hard and you have great faith in your life. Um, A huge shout out to my friends and my family and everybody that helped me get to be where I am today, um, especially my coaches and my teammates. Um, I stand on just on this stage alone, but without them, I wouldn't have this award. Um, and they've sacrificed so much for me. Okay, sorry. I just had ankle surgery. I'm out of breath, okay. out of shape. But now, um, with the light that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black-led sport um, and celebrated here, I want to show a light on black women Um, They don't get the media coverage that they deserve. Um, How selfless. They've given so much to this sport and the community. (laughs) Look, dude, I'm going to be honest, and maybe it's just me, but if I was like a black chick, and I'm just sitting there watching this white chick, she won an award, and she's fucking looking, she's all there looking hot and shit, and then she's like, huh, let's really, like, let's really pay attention to the white, or the black women, though. I'd be like, fuck you. God, fuck off. I would, I hate that shit. And I, f- I feel like I can't be too wrong. I feel like I feel like black people are tired of hearing this shit too, right? I feel like black people are probably very tired of this shit. 
let's really congratulate black people. Like, because you know this page chick is doing this for moral points, for moral virtue signaling points off the back of black people. That's what all these white chicks do. They all do this shit. They're all trying to score points with virtue signaling by saying, oh, well, it's actually, we got to take time to like thank the black people. And it's like, what? Woke points. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good way to put it. Society as a whole and their value is un undeniable. Um, and the WNBA You look at her face. You could, you know, she's like, fuck this bitch. Fuck this bitch. Last season, the postseason awards. 80% of the winners were black, but they got half of the coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Sport How selfless. It's, it's always somebody with all the money and the trophy in their hand that's now they're in the position to tell uh, the crowd that we need to start thinking about other people. No, fuck off. Sports look at him! <laughs> Every single time it's just a black person, they they look just fucking pissed because it's patronizing as fuck. It's patronizing. If you win an award, accept your award. Like, stop doing this white guilt thing to prove your loyalty to black people. They start. They're starting to see through it. I'm sorry. I I I I, I 100 believe black people are seeing through this bullshit. They're seeing through this facade of white people kissing their boots and being like, oh, we're, we're all super privileged and we just need to lift up black people. It's like, bitch, you are on stage with a damn mic in front of you with an award and the money. And you're like, well, I'm going to keep all this shit, but let, let's let's think about people real quick. Media and sponsors tell us who is valuable and you have told the world that I matter today and everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. Imagine, imagine being up there and saying this and thinking you're like, God, I'm so fucking good. Because you know that's what she's thinking, right? That's what's going on in this chick's head. She's like, God, I'm fucking so good. I'm so fucking good. I'm so perfect. I'm so, I'm such morally just and right. I'm so virtuously virtuous and amazing. I'm so good and great and led by such moral construct. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit because you know she's like God. I'm just fucking man. Ain't nobody better than me. I love black people. This is I'm gonna be completely honest. This is just the white girl's version of I have a black friend. That's what I think it is. I think this is the this is quite literally the white women's version of I have a black friend. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I want to look at the comments here in a second. Hold on. We got some super chats. We got a pink boy. Is that true? Oh my God. Let me wipe my nose real quick. All right. Oh my God. Hey, Dan. So this isn't her covering it, but the site is Wearbridge. You can see the companies involved while I try to find the thread and how to get it to you. Thank you, Hayden. I appreciate you so much. We're going to read these comments. I think they're going to be funny. I thank you so much for your pink boy. We're close in the end, bro. We're 350 from Fight Milk. Thank you, Hayden. I love you. I don't know how Fight Milk will go down. That'd probably suck, but we are bridge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Hayden. For real, man. I appreciate that. I don't deserve your pink boys. Snafu says, I was going to compliment you, but this video made me forget I was going to say. Anyways, get better soon. Thank you, Snafu. I appreciate you. Dance, monkey, dance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I don't deserve this shit. I felt like a damn like a damn failure when I skipped the Saturday show. I tried to reschedule it to Sunday, but I was so sick. Just laying in bed like a fat fuck. All right. Let me see the comments on this. Oh, all the comments are super nice. This is unexpected. Amazing. So powerful. Um, so well spoken. Love her for this. Love. Inspirational. She's a class act. That's funny. 
yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought somebody's gonna be like, "This is stupid." Nope. They all the comments were supportive. Have you heard the song "Dance Monkey" song? I've heard "Dance Magic Dance." David Bowie. Trent, what's up? <laughs> Trent Westbrook says, "Bro, hey, you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well." Oh, by the way, real quick, guys. Um, thank you, Trent. I love you, dude. Appreciate you. Um, where is it at? Let me pull this up again. I'm out of breath because I can't breathe out of my nose. So you're going to hear me like breathing real heavy every now and then. So, um, I, we're running the frog car for Talladega and for Dover. Um, the cyber frog car, as you can see right here. Um, there's a spot on its ass. As you can see, it's blank. You see this blank ass right here? This spot um, is open for sponsorship. And the car is pretty much completely paid for anyway. So it's not hyper expensive or anything. So if you have a company, YouTube channel, Twitter, or anything like that, and you want to jump on board and be on the car for Talladega and Dover, the frog car with me um, and with uh, Ethan and all them, let me know. DM me, please. Um, every fucking every cent I get uh, helps me out to maybe break an even at the end of the year. Maybe. Maybe. So, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, Trent, again. All right. Um, well, man, I was about to talk about something. I fucking forgot. How could you guys do this to me? How could you do this to me? <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to remember. Now I can't remember. Well, it's too, it's too late now. It's over. It's over. Um, uh, being paid off. Oh, you're talking about the curse thing. Okay, cool. What is, what is all this? I'm trying. Sorry, I'm reading this thing. So that was in me. Um, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, everybody got really mad at me because I jokingly commented on a thing. And everybody was like, oh, how could you? They're crazy, man. They're crazy as hell. Again, won't be thinking about it when I'm going 190 miles an hour. We will not care. All right, thank you. Billy says, I also got Twitter affiliate today. Hell yeah. Are you saying Twitch affiliate? I don't actually know what Twitter, how Twitter works, though. Thank you so much, Billy. I appreciate you. Um, I tried to get Twitch partner for a while, but it just started becoming not beneficial because Twitch, yeah. So, and it's because it's it's time. It's time taken away from something else. On two months on Twitch, I made like $400 and met all the goals for partner and they declined me because it's a hazing ritual I found out later. And I was like, I don't really want to be involved with that. And then I started doing Rumble. So thank you, Billy. I appreciate you. Um, here, let's uh, give some love to Matthew Fortune. I noticed your car is Toyota, and that's why I sound stupid. But are you sponsored or affiliated with Toyota? Toyota? No. the The Talladega car is a Ford. The Frog car for Talladega is a Ford. Um. The only okay, so the bodies that you see on these stock cars are just that they're just bodies, they're just a composite body. That's it. Um, the engines vary. For example, the in, we got a raid where, where, um, oh, I, 10 memberships. Holy shit, let me look at that. McCock, McCock, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're a fig, so, um. The um, the engines are, I think they're based off of SB2s. I could be wrong with the ARCA engines, um, but they're not affiliated with like Toyota, Chevy or anything. Now, the the bodies are just bodies. From Powder Craig. Powder Keg, that's his name. Powder Keg Craig. What's up, dude? So, the Ford at Talladega is, it's going to be a frog Ford. And then the the frog at dover is a toyota um and it's just the body of the car the reason is is because you use a ton of different chassis it's not the same car you don't take the same car to every race um 
they are wildly different in between each races. So Talladega, the car has a, almost no downforce, uses completely different spring package, completely different trail arms, completely different um, front and rear sway bars, completely different uh, gearing, completely different brake package, completely different everything. Um, so to convert all that shit in between a race in six days would be impossible. Because you technically could do it, and even so, a, a, a chassis built specifically for a super speedway, even if you convert it to short track, is never going to be up to scuff. Right? They have to be made for the track. So at Dover, we'll be using a short track car. Um, and at Talladega, we're using a super speedway car. Um, so, And the Talladega car is a Ford body, and the Dover car is a Toyota body. So that's why I'm, I have two different wraps for each car. Love you, Rosa. Thank you for all your support. I miss you. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're so good to me. Me Skoto. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate you. Macock. Thank you, dude. Says uh, Darth Reeves says, did you manage to get a pepper sticker on the car? No, I decided against it because I don't want like Pippa fans to fucking go insane and like cre create drama for her. Um, because to be completely honest about that whole culture. What makes shit so hard and scary and fucking psycho for the people that are actually content creators, like VTubers, livers, if you will, um, is the fans. I, I've talked to, you know, Pippa, I've talked to people in private, and their fans are what causes 99.8% of the stress in their life. That's what it does. So um, if it wasn't for that, they wouldn't care. For example, Pippa would she wouldn't have cared about that whole joke situation. It's just she knew she told me her fans were fucking psycho. And that's why she was like butthurt about that comment. Cause she's like, dude, my fans are fucking crazy. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ha it's otherwise it wouldn't mean anything. But their their parasocial relationship are fucking crazy, man. It's crazy. McCock gifted 10 memberships. Thank you, my friend. Love you. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, McCock, that's a lot, by the way. That's a lot. Richard Boslong. $100 super chat, my man. Look at this crazy bastard. It says, I think it's about time to get my name on another car. We're putting you on there. You'll be on the Kansas car. Make sure you're watching the race. Make sure you watch all the races, man. They're all on Fox Sports 1. Um, except for the East races will be on flow racing, which there's only three left, I think, um, that are exclusive. Thank you so much, Richard. I love you, dude. Appreciate you. I appreciate you, dude. <clears throat> Cypher owns. What's up, dude? I feel like I haven't seen your name in a hundred years. I think Jerry, where is he at? I think Jerry has not happened. <laughs> I had a guy that was supposed to do it and then he had a stroke. He was the guy that did my my uh cat dog one and then i'm just lazy as fuck and haven't done it so um but yeah that's something i'm gonna definitely do in the future i just need to like plan it out and be hyper aware of it because as soon as i end a stream i don't fucking think about that um it, and i don't think about it until somebody like software owns says thick jerry i'm like oh fuck i forgot about thick jerry. every time so it's my fault um for sure um i would love to have thick jerry because i actually found the original image again on my phone and i was so pumped i was like yeah Cause it's I, people, they think like it's a uh, he 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 doesn't want to get that. No, I, I love it. I think it's so great. That fucking fat ass Jerry. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely get it. I just need to, just need to make it happen, man. I need to like just make it happen. Um, and now racing full time is fucking brutal. It's gonna be hard. So, um, I'm gonna make it happen. Fucking somehow. Maybe in the off season. Hayden says. Uh, can I drop the link to the original tweet thread in your Discord, or is it a better place to do it? I found a bridge. I don't. Need, I don't think I even have Discord logged in right now on your computer. I don't ever fucking go in that fucking psycho place. Discord's scary, man. <laughs> Thank you, Hayden. I appreciate you. Um, beep, 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 the original tweet thread. Fuck. Oof, I don't know. I'm trying to think where you, you send it to my. Can, do you have Facebook? You sent to my Camelot three through one Facebook. Thank you, Hayden. Appreciate you. Better and Bocker, you better not quit. I wanted to get you on stream, Bama Navy Vet. What's up, dude? How you doing? Um, no, I'm not quitting. Uh, it's just going to slow down because racing full time is going to be make it impossible. I won't even. I, there's going to be weeks where I don't even come home. Probably, I'll probably just be on the road and go to the next race and the next race. And next, there won't be a point flying home. So, thank you, Better and Bocker. I love you, dude. Appreciate you for your gold boy. Cypher owns thick Jerry. 
is coming eventually. Oh, big thick Jerry will happen eventually. I, I don't know. I'm gonna probably put it right below my cat dog. People, why you have the fat cheek ass damn th Jerry on your th thigh, bro? Thank you, Cyphrons. I appreciate you. And also, thanks everybody that's been so supportive today. It's been a while. Um, I shouldn't say that. I skipped one stream because I'm so sick, and I'm still sick. But I decided to force it today because I just don't feel comfortable skipping shows. It feels weird. Um, feels m messy and fucked up. And uh, I love seeing my boys. I know I don't have a fucking thousand people watching, but I just love hanging out with my boys. I'm burping. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Ah, oh, oh. Fuck, bro. McCock with 10 gifted memberships. And five gifted memberships, 15 totaling 25 gifted memberships. Hot diggity damn. Thank you, my friend. 25 macaques. <laughs> Thank you, dude. All right, let me pull this up. You messaged it to my camel. My camel. What the hell is that? Okay. All right. Dude, I don't know if you guys have like business accounts on, on Facebook, but it's structured like a website from 2002 it's really really shitty i see you all right talking about apple oh, weebs is that checking out okay let's just uh let's just we're gonna pull this up it's a tweet from kirsch kirsch thank you mccock i love you dude hayden says message you on facebook i got it i'm pulling it up right now thank you mccock says i want to be on the car mccock i want to be on the car every 100 100 super check is on uh, the car for Kansas. Um, and then it moves over. Every to every race, it'll move over to the next car. Let me wipe my nose real quick. McCock. Let's include, if we include gifted memberships, then that's enough to be on the car. So let's put McCock on the car. I, don't, I haven't really thought about that. But thank you, McCock. That, that, that does make sense. So I put you on there, McCock. Because that is, I think that's over what it would take to be on the car. McCock. All right, let's pull up this thread, uh, this thread that Kirsch put out. So it says, God damn. It says, I watched a video from the quartering earlier today where he was talking about an app called Veebs. I decided to check out the article since a few companies I didn't expect were on the list of 2023's most woke companies, one being Campbell's. I decided to Google Campbell's DEI ad to see if something similar to Dove or Gillette and fell down a weird rabbit hole. Uh, Campbell's is number five. Um, I was flooded with articles about Campbell's different DEI initiatives, but several headlines jumped out at me. Brand pilot DEI program to foster company-wide inclusion. After finding many many brands' social posts were 23 years behind on representation, DEI Trade Org Bridge created a program that is being piloted by Campbell Soup. What? That's weird. Um, I felt like I followed the news cycle decently close. I've never heard of the coalition of CEOs, CFOs, and diversity officers named Bridge. Of course, curious. I looked at what Bridge is. Bridge is a purpose-driven community based to action focus on the workplace, workforce, and marketplace. I could not discern an establishing date for this bridge. However, there's an article from Ad Age talking about how they got funded in April 2022. Bridge is working with big name CMOs and CDOs to launch dedicated DEI trade groups for marketing and adverse advertising industry. Let me pull that up. Let's see. Let's just read this for a second. A new diversity, equity, and inclusion trade organization for the marketing industry is forming and already touts the backing of executives from major brands and agencies such as Unilever, Group M, NBC, Universal, and Campbell's, and others. The goal of Bridge, which was founded by former MMA Global Executive Cheryl Daya, is to serve an independent organization that can help members bridge the gaps that have created inequities for unrepresented communities and hold the industry accountable for enacting change. All this is expected to culminate in an ad or an agenda for all companies and subsequently certify against this implementation and measure its impact. <coughs> Ow. Interesting. Bridge is here to help companies create their own agendas. Oh my God, I can barely breathe, boys. Um, Bridges board is composed of both chief diversity officers and chief marketing officers, including Juanita Wilson, chief diversity officer at Discover Financial, who will serve as a chair on the board. How does companies like this even come into existence? 
you know what it feels like to me? It just feels like aliens. Like it feels like aliens have hijacked everything. That's what it feels like to me. Um, boo, boo, boo. Program reveals 72 business practices across five dimensions of the workplace and marketplace and measure inclusion maturity at both the brand and company level, giving leaders a concrete assessment of where the gaps exist. But what's why? Like, so what is the, that my issue is what the fuck is the purpose in all this? New expanded DEI being pushed into more Romo's manner. That's such, it's so strange to me. Like, what is, what is the benefit here? What is the benefit? Amanda Jean says a uh, money laundering. Fuck it. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. The WEF controls the world, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dar Darth Reben says, so what you're saying is there's a VTuber sticker spot on the car that's just Rosa's size. I would put Rosa on my car. Yeah, for sure. Insert knuckles improvement me here. I like Rosa more. Anyway. Somebody send me a damn Rosa sticker or send me a link to one I can buy. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Darth Reben. I appreciate you, baby. I appreciate you, my friend. I love you. Appreciate you. I'm thinking to myself, I don't understand why these companies even exist um, other than to destabilize the West. Because you notice this is only happening in Western countries. Why? Right? Um, I don't know. It, it all just feels really weird. It all feels really weird and forced. King Deplorables. Those are front companies. Also, Car App is great. Thank you, King Deplorables. I appreciate you, baby. Oh, fuck. Uh, sent you a second thread where she ties in the Gamergate stuff after you finish this one. She deep dives. It's about the message. They are the people in power now. Thank you, Hayden. I appreciate you, dude. They're coming after us, man. They just don't care. Um, I implore you to look into Bridge. If you're someone who's just starting to pay attention to what Gamergate 2 is, how journalists, game consultants, and gaming devs are all ignoring reality to try and cover up who started the harassment. Oh, my God. This is just terrifying stuff, man. The warnings went unheeded. I've seen that video before. I wish somebody could really formulate why there's one single push for this to all happen, though. Thank you, Hayden. I love you, dude. Appreciate you. What's up, Agua? McCock, it's my B-Day day, and I'm in a mood. Gave drunk through PO 20 gifts today. You gave that to Jay. Jay's a bitch, though. Thank you, McCock. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, McCock, even though Jay's kind of a bitch. I love you. I appreciate you. Did you see uh, today where um, the April fool, Fool's joke was that uh, Keemstar died or something? That was very silly. Very silly one today. Keemstar's dead. And I'm like, all right, now. Come on. Come on. Come on. I thought... I, I'm going to be completely transparent. I thought that this was a uh, a joke. Hold on. I thought this was actually a um, a uh, April's Fool joke. So there's apparently a new um, there's a new Romeo and Juliet. Did you guys see this shit? Look, I don't know how you feel about certain things, but I feel like this is patronizing. <laughs> I'll say it again. I feel like this is patronizing. Um, why Why is it that every time a white dude's cast in any movie, it's always a dashingly handsome or cute white guy? And every time a black woman's cast in a a love-centric role, they they look for the fucking ugliest person that's ever existed on the face of the earth. It feels patronizing to me. Like, you guys realize there's, like, black women that are beautiful. There's a lot of them. Like, millions. Like, I don't understand who, what is the, what, why does this exist? I like this thread. Where is it at? <laughs> there was a thread earlier I saw, and it was like, this is who Tom Holland's going to kill himself for in the movie. And it's just like, oh, yeah. It says right here, Romeo and Juliet. Tom Holland is supposed to kill himself because he can't have her. And I'm like, what's happening? It says Tom Holland and Francesca um, Rivers um, star in a production of Romeo and Juliet, a pulsating new vision of Shakespeare's immortal tale. Um, 
Yeah, I just don't. It just doesn't. It doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. Um, why is it that the white dude gets to be attractive, and every time they cast a black chick, it's it's just the opposite. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It feels like they're just they're just trying to piss me. I one hundred percent believe they do this stuff on purpose to garner a reaction. Right? At least it's not Zendaya. I guess there's at least that. Whiskey sour says nothing is brutal. Chasing a dream. You yank those bull's balls and ride it like you screamed it. The wrong girl's name in bed. Oh my god. Get it. Stop complaining about going fast. Thank you so much, Whiskey Sour. I appreciate you, dude. Um, thank you. I appreciate you, Whiskey, for your gold boy. I really, really do. I love you. And I, I'm gonna try my best, my best to do everything I can to be successful. Um Let's see. Let's see if this person's trans. I don't think they are, though. Um, I don't know. Um, it says also starring. Blah, 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 confirmed. I mean, Juliet opens. Uh, previous appeared in two seasons. Of BBC's Bad Education, three short films. Stage experience. Um, I don't think she's trans. I don't get that vibe. Uh, which. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Hayden, the choosing ugly women thing is because they're trying to normalize people being frumpy, genderless weirdos. They want to make you make a, you can't tell if they're trans into a truthful statement. It's all breakdown. It's all, it's all connected. I don't know, man. I just think, um, I think studios are doing it to garner a reaction because it means more, uh, media attention. Um, because name name recognition is more important than anything. And a lot of people don't get this. It's like a marketing 101 thing, right? Marketing 101. Advertisement is not for return on investment, especially not now in modern day. People think that advertisement is to get a return on investment. No. There was a study done like three or four years ago. Keep in mind, that was like an eternity ago compared to now, four years ago or something the average return on investment is less than 1%. Marketing and ads is all for name recognition. What is the the easiest way to get name recognition for free? Do something like this, garner an outrage reaction, outrage farm everybody in the public and you get free publicity. Free. Gillette did it. Bush Light has done the same thing. That's what I'm thinking. Um, because I've had a lot of people that are interested in sponsoring me at one of my races, you know. Um, and uh, like I'll tell them how much it is. And some people, for some people, they're like, wow, that's cheaper than I thought. And then some people think it's outrageous because they thought it was going to be like $100 to put their company's name in front of 1 million concurrent people. You know, people pay like... Uh, Nick Riccata, two grand to do one ad read. And pe like people think they can sponsor like a NASCAR stock car on live nas nationwide television for like a hundred dollars or something. It's crazy shit, but I'll tell them how much it is. And it's actually not much more than that to be fair. And some people are like, well, I'll never, I don't think I'd ever make that back. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's not, it has nothing to do with return on investment. It's name recognition. That's what advertising is for. It's been for that for the last 40 years, probably Sp with the advent of social media that was gone. It's all for name recognition. It has nothing to do with return on investment. Thank you, Hayden. Love you. <sighs> so, black dude looks like a lady. <laughs> Macaque. That's like that uh that Aerosmith song. Street by guy says she looks like Preach from Alvin Preach. She does. Kind of, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, exactly. Whiskey sour. It's 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 money that's you know to for lack of a better word or phrase thrown away. But it's for name recognition, right? You're you could spend thirty million dollars putting Bush Light logos and Bush Light being ad reads in a major sport for two years straight. In that, there's going to be controversy. There's going to be a lot of shit happening. Every person on the face of the earth that is above the age of eight years old will know what Bush Light is. It's name recognition. It's for later. It's subconscious for later. 10 years down the road, five years down the road. It's not about, it's not about getting a return on investment within like five days. So, um, name recognition. 
Royal E. To, I think white women are targeted so much for wokeness because the one thing white women can do that no other people can do on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. I agree with you, Royal We. Jeremy, just saw this guy here late judging off the tile. You're not leaving us. Sorry. You already covered. You just got home from the shit show. No, no, no. Um, It was mainly a April Fool's thing, but it will slow down. My YouTube is going to slow down a little bit because uh, I won't be home for like three weeks at a time. Because I'll be traveling to different races. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Make sure you guys like the show, by the way. We already hit 500. And it, like, God, I can't believe it. We already hit the goal. Right? So, uh, Bush Lots, cheap beer, name recognition isn't great. See, Carrie, look, you see how fast you missed the point, Carrie? That's how fast you missed the point. That's why I'm so, it's so, it blows me away that no one gets, no one understands. Name recognition is, it's not about return on investment. It never was. It is not about return on investment. If you get 250 million social media mentions, that is sellable. That is highly, highly sellable to who? Shareholders. CEOs and CFOs and people on the executive board, they don't make, they don't skimp money off of profit. You know, they don't like get to take a few coins out of the operating profit of their company. No, they're paid bonuses through shareholders and stock price. GameStop loses $300 million a quarter and the stock will go up $4 sometimes for no fucking reason. <laughs> All right. Why? Because everybody on earth knows about GameStop now because of the Reddit debacle. Right? So. McCock! Struggle snuggle, Tom. No, please, God. No, God! Jeremy Elwood, good answer to my question. Thank you. I appreciate you. Tom's like, no, please. I'm not interested. And uh, Juliet's like, I wasn't asking. <laughs> Yo, bro, I, wanna, I wasn't asking. Pull your draws off. Tom starts crying. <laughs> Shit. That'd be funny. All right. <laughs> That'd be a funny uh, Romeo and Juliet. Oof, my throat. Killing me, boys. Uh, Cypher says, when's the Dover race? I live in uh, southern New Jersey. I'd like to be there to support my boy. Uh, the 26th of April. Hayden says, those surveys you get on Facebook and others, have you seen an ad for one of these companies recently? It's just for brand recognition. Nothing else. Yep, 100%. That's what's most important. It's sellable to your shareholders. Social media mentions in the millions is more important modern day than operating profit. You cannot, you cannot tell me it isn't. You cannot tell me it isn't. If you have a YouTube channel that has 20 million subscribers and you have not uploaded anything in five years, there are platforms out there that will offer you $20 million to come be on their platform. If, even if you ha your channel's dead and you haven't uploaded in five years, as long as you have 20 million subs, the name recognition is all that matters. They could give two fucks, right? Look at uh, Rice Gum. Rice Gum d did not exist on YouTube anymore. And they gave him like $20 million to come over there on Rumble to scroll through eBay to look at sneakers. You know, like a, th a man in his 30s to look at sneakers, which is the craziest shit to me, but whatever. I get it. People have interest. That's just a weird one. I don't, I never understood how that interest became a thing. How like, young white kids and like Asian dudes like become obsessed with different editions of sneakers. That's the weirdest shit to me. Granted, I don't really, I've never really understood the point of collecting most things. Um, so that's even, it's even more like weird. I'm like, what? You know, it's like pop vinyls. I have no idea why people collect pop vinyls. It's so weird. You know, <sighs> thank you, Hayden. McCock. If we both cry, oh my God. It's not grab if you both cry, bro. Thank you, McCock. Appreciate you, McCock. McCock with the damn fucking cooking jokes, bro. Um, People want to watch Gambling Sloss. It's pretty weird. I agree with that. It is weird, man. It is weird. It's all about name recognition. Get those candy corn sneakers. I should. I don't know why I haven't. What the fuck? Am I crazy? Oops. Sorry, guys. 
I'm, I'm like delirious because my nose is running and I'm freaking barely, I'm barely functioning right now. I'm, my, my senses are so heightened because I'm like trying to be so aware right now and it's so hard. But we have 500 people in here and you're watching me suffer and I don't really know why. So I really appreciate that. I didn't think I'd even have 100. So thank you guys. I love you. Watching my dumbass show. There's so many better shows out there and you choose to be with me. I'm cool with it. I don't understand it, but I love you. I appreciate you. <clears throat> um, Goddamn people. People are perpetual. I don't, people are perpetual victims, man. Perpetual victims. I don't know how anybody with that um, mindset of being a perpetual victim could ever been like ever push themselves forward or ever benefit themselves or work on themselves. You know, that's why it like blows me away that there's people out there that are highly successful and they still hold that victim mentality. I'm like, how is this possible? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, how did you get to where you are by holding that same mentality? It's very weird to me because usually to become successful, you have to push past self doubt and all these things, you know, but I guess not, right? Doesn't really make sense to me. Oh, uh oh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Sorry, guys. I'm fucking blown away. Hold on. I'm going to pull something up. You guys aren't going to care about this, but I, and this is crazy. Helena. What's up? 37 months. My God. Let me wipe my nose. Jesus. My nose. Oh, fuck. Hey, you see that idiot, Eric Chilla on Star Wars? <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, what did he do? I don't know. I don't think Eric's an idiot. I met Eric. He's pretty cool. I liked that. I was watching through the whole uh, the copyright like lawsuit and stuff. I thought that was all very interesting. Uh, but no, I did not see what what happened on it. I will say the, 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 the I've never really held an opinion on all of it, but the Yaira, tra the Yaira trailer was real bad. It was like fucking atrocious. But I think everybody's aware of it. Your tw Twitter says you're sick. Yeah, I'm brutally sick. And I might not really look like it, though. <laughs> but I'm fucked up, bro. Um, do, 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 do. Ripper got theory. Ripper got theory with his sand. What does that mean? What did he do? What did he do with Star Wars theory? Star Wars theory is jacked, isn't he? He looks like he's shaped like a little bowling ball, but like in a muscle way. No one's willing to call him out for how bad it is. I think people are. You know? Uh, Anna did. And Eric was cool with it. I think Eric is aware. He knew he, he is aware that it's kind of like a passion project and it was kind of like a a fun venture to like reveal Yaira and like while when launching the campaign. I don't think it's should be protected from criticism. I mean, you put something out there, shit, you know, I put a video out there, people dislike it, they dislike it, right? He wouldn't dare yell at Anna. I mean, yeah. You can't really yell at Anna. Right? And it's just going to yell at you back. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ripping your Star Wars theory on the stream. What, what will happen during the stream, though? Jeremy said, right to replace her accent. But yeah, I think that's the biggest grop. Right? That's the biggest grop of the whole thing is the accent is like ridiculous. It's like Tommy Wiseau shit. You know? Other than that, I mean, I think it was just the awkwardness of that accent pretty much ruined everything. I feel like if you. You you gave her a completely normal accent. It might have been passable. Like the jumping in place, like flying and then landing in the same spot was kind of weird. And like a few of the camera angles were weird, but it would have been like passable if she didn't have that accent. That accent was weird. It just didn't really make much sense. But it was like a two minute thing, right? Cypher Owen says, oh, where'd he go? Did you watch the Nickelode Nickelodeon docuseries? I did. It was fucked up. Yeah. Fucked up, dude. Um, uh, you've been here, Helena. I'm glad you're here. I've been sick as a dog, so I'm surprised I've been live for two hours. I didn't think I'd make it 20 minutes. We're gonna talk about Her Hannah Barron. What did Hannah Barron do now? She's still looking hot as hell. Just clarifying because you're one of one contact. Oh, okay. So, yeah, 
I think they should have just used a white lady accent. <laughs> you know, I feel like that'd have been a, better to explain it. You know, like in the book, you don't really have an accent. It's just a book, but you can you can tell where the uh, character's upbringing is. So people in there, like people, might put two and two together. They're like, "Why in the trailer did she sound normal, but in the book she's from Russia?" But you wouldn't really care, I think, at that point. But if you just make the accent crazy, then people are going to care immediately. That's what I'm saying, dude. Chase, you should take a break. More, more to be, but it's pretty bad. I already skipped one stream this week because of. Uh, I was thinking how you'd balance YouTube and racing. What was it? Oh yeah. So I haven't really talked about it except for when we first started. So what's up incoherent? Yeah, please Mark, please. Can I marry this lady? No. Um, when Talladega happens, April 20th is Talladega. Um, it is going to be regardless of what happens during the race. It'll be my biggest accomplishment of my life. Does not matter what happens. Me starting that race, hitting the green flag at Talladega will be the biggest thing I've ever done Um, because it's Talladega. It's the biggest track in the U.S. It's the fastest if you, you know, if we didn't have restricted plates, it would be fucking 230 miles an hour. But it's a place I've dreamed of running my entire life. Never thought I'd ever even get to drive my normal car on the track. And I'm going to be racing in a NASCAR sanctioned race at Talladega, like for real, at 190 miles an hour. So that's fucking unbelievable. Um, so that's cool. So excited. Um, but the 20th, Talladega. Dover's the 26th. May 4th is Kansas. May 12th, I think. It's either 11th or 12th. I think it's 11th. Is Nashville. The 18th is Flat Rock. The 24th is Charlotte Motor Speedway. Uh, there's, gonna, there's six races in a row. So, or five. Yeah, five races in a row. So, uh, obviously, I won't be able to... I'm not going to be able to stream as much as I used to. Um, I'm going to try. Some people have asked me, why don't I stream the race? That's not allowed. Um, NASCAR has license with Fox. You can't stream, like, the inside of a car. You'll get you'll get a, a giant fine for that. So, unfortunately. That'd be cool, though, wouldn't it? I would love that, but uh, if it was allowed, I would do it. Yeah, for sure, but it's not allowed. Um, look at this. My boy Martin Trex Jr. suspended for two races in NASCAR. That's crazy. Holy shit. Been suspended for the next two races. Damn. I don't really think he did anything. He After the race, he like went up to Denny Hamlin and like bumped him in the ass. Wait, is this April Fool's? <gasps> this is an April Fool's joke, isn't it? Oh, they got me. I can't believe they fucking got me. I, they finally got me. Somebody finally got me today. I can't believe it. <laughs> Shit. I've been got live on stream, guys. Live on stream, they got me. Wow. It's crazy. Let me wipe my nose in honor of that. Thank you. Damn. They got me. My birthday's come early, Richard. How you doing, dude? <laughs> you got me. Um, could you stream traveling to race, race, race? Yeah. I probably could. It's going to be hard. I'm going to try to work something out, though. I'm going to try to work something out. You know? Gullible Cody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could stream maybe Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon. No, probably, not. probably Saturday morning walking around the garage and talking. Maybe. Make sure you like the stream, bitches, by the way. Very important. Like the stream. Don't be bitch. Like it. Love it. Want some more of it. Mm. My nose be killing me. And you want to drive with the big boys? Hell yeah. I want to drive with the big boys, but I'm too stupid to not get the April Fool's. What's up, Annette Brady? How you doing, baby? I'm running out of steam real fast, guys, because it's illness, but I'm trying to push forward. I will be back on Wednesday, of course, because I'll probably be almost recovered by Wednesday. Because I feel I actually, for today, was the first time I felt better in the last five days. Um, and I've only, it's it's this much, but are you really quitting? Just slowing down for racing. Um, I won't be quitting. 
I'll still be doing my Monday and Wednesday shows pretty regularly. The Saturday shows will be going away for most of the year because I'll be racing on Saturday nights um, in like NASCAR. So, uh, but I will, I'm going to see if I could probably still stream on Saturdays, like some, maybe walking through the garage, talking to people and hanging out. What's the plan with Zia? I'm going to bring Zia along. I'm going to try, I'm gonna, I'll move Zia to a fucking Wednesday if I have to. Zia is my girl. I love her. Whiskey Sour says, my dream was to be an Army Ranger and get scrolled out, but ended up getting hurt. I mean, chase the dreams. I support you. Maybe someday we can share out a big ass hug. Dude, I'm all about it, dude. What's up? Thank you, Whiskey Sour. I appreciate you, dude. I love you. Yeah, um, I am committed to pushing as hard as I possibly can this year because it seem, it is going to be stressful and all that, but at the end of the year, I'll be able to look back on it at the end of my life and look back on it and be like, I, I fucking did it, you know? I'm just trying to trying to do the do my do my due diligence. McCock, you know it's good for a runny nose. If you run your lips across my beef stick. Oh, uh, can Zia bikini Zia wash the car? I don't know. That'd be a pretty interesting video, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Let me give a shout out to a few of these super chats. I'm probably gonna log here in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna do neck and snake, of course. Um, God, I just whew. It just gets worse and worse, man. It's crazy. Billy Hatcher, love you. I appreciate you. Disco Cobra, I love you, and I appreciate you. These guys are crazy. 70 Super Chats tonight. Hayden, my boy. Metalhead, Mad Man, my boy. Hayden with two pink boys. Jesus, man. Matthew Falshin. Thank you so much, dude. Richard Boslin, my boy with a red boy. Appreciate you. Thank you guys all much for all your support. McCock with 25 gifted memberships. Appreciate you. I can barely breathe. It's a rough revenge. Only if Zia gets paid for it. We got to pay Zia. We will always pay Zia. Zia is good people. Um, But yeah, dude, it's going to be a wild year, and I just hope I survive. I hope I survive. It's because it's going to be very stressful. It's going to be very long. Um, a lot of traveling. So I'm really, really, really hoping... Um. Really, really hoping that I can break even at the end of the year. So I think I'm I'm on track. My my current budget should get me about breaking even after all sponsorship support. Um, what the fuck? But um, yeah, I will have. Um, thank you, Abra. I'm glad you're still here. I will have one spot open, I think, on every race for a sponsorship, like on the ass of the car. So if you have a company or anything you want to jump on board, it's not that expensive. You just DM me. Um, we can uh, move forward. And if I get a couple of those throughout the year, I should be able to easily break even. That's kind of what I'm betting on. And then, of course, I'll have the whole year funded, um, <clears throat> the majority of it anyway. So it's just basically hotels and hotels and flats is kind of what I like. So that's what I'm trying to do. Mucinex. Dude, I'm on, I'm on so many things. I'm on so many things. Is there a list of races? Sure is. I'll pull it up right here. Here's the list of my races this year. If you guys want to see what we got going down. Um, if you can be at any of these, that would be really cool. Is that it? That's it. Um, this does not include uh, Dover and Talladega, by the way. Dover and Talladega is on this as well. This is everything after Talladega and Dover. But I'm I'm also running Talladega and Dover. So. I just made this after the fact, <clears throat> but that's, that's the rest of them after and over. So it's going to be pretty hop, pretty hop indeed. August is going to be brutal. September is going to be fucking brutal. And uh, May is going to be brutal. June's kind of brutal too. That crazy delivery guy says it's going to be long and I'm going to push hard. Camelot 3 through one racing. Get on it, dog. That's what she said. Thank you. What's the best seats to buy at races? Starting line or corners? It's probably starting line, I'd imagine. I've never been a big fan of being in the corners, depending on where you're going, you know? Oh, God. I'm dying, boys. Used to live near Berlin. Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, take a screenshot of this if you want to know. This is my personal um schedule because this is not the arca schedule this is including two series that i'm running it's the same it's arca but it's arca main arca east series so take a gander baby t 
take the gander. Taste the rainbow. All right. Oh, none in New England. I don't think so. I don't think so, Amanda. Um, but yeah, dude. We're styling. We're relaxing. Relaxing, chillaxing. I appreciate all the support today, guys. You you guys have been really cool. Um, I really appreciate the support. I know the show has been a little underwhelming because I am sick as hell. Um, but I really wanted to be here and I just wanted to talk to my boys in chat and have a fun time and um just have a have a good day. And you guys have attributed to that. You always lift up my spirits even when I'm sick. So I'm so damn thankful. Um you guys are goaded as hell. We gotta do naked snake. We gotta do naked snake though. We gotta do naked snake. <sighs> let me go. Let me go over here real quick, real quick. Da, do, do. Da, da, da. Um, hold on. Let me look at something real quick. Let me look at something real quick. Make sure you guys follow my Facebook, my Camelot Facebook. I keep up all the racing stuff on there. And also follow my uh follow my uh Twitter as well. Man, you VTubers are wild. You schedule out streams like a month in advance. How do you do that? All of you crazy. All of you. Fucking crazy. All right. Uh, uh, e, e, yeah, let's do. Hope you feel faster. Thank you. I appreciate you. Feel better faster. I hope so too. Don't forget to tell Zia because I have a letter know sometimes when she's no show and she didn't know. Wait, tell Zia about what? Dover? Cyber Frog still for 420? Yes, sir. Cyber Frog at Talladega and Cyber Frog at Dover. Dover and Talladega. So, it's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Come up for Star Wars Theory. It's happening. We're going to do it, bro. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of chances. So, if any of you want to come to races, pick one. Pick one. Pick one. Love. Pick one. All right, boys. It's time for Naked Snake. I'm going to try to fumble through it. And then I'm going to raid Queso. Uh, we're 20 locks from 600, by the way, guys. Big shout out to all these super chatters today. You guys are keeping me going. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm not one of those big YouTubers that make a million dollars a month on fucking ad revenue. Um, it's pretty much all, I'm a, I, like being transparent, it's all from Super Chats memberships. So I appreciate you guys so much for keeping me alive and supporting the Naked Snake and supporting the Fight Milk Goals and supporting the racing, supporting everything I do. Um, there's only one person in the entire world that is utilized unbelievable sport from an unbelievable community and started racing professionally in fucking NASCAR of all things. Um, there's one person and it's because you guys it has nothing to do with me. It's because you guys. So I appreciate you guys. Um, thank you guys so much. New video tomorrow, by the way, don't forget. Here we go. It's time for naked snake. <laughs> I probably muted that. Sorry. <laughs> Alan Jones. Here we go. Here we go, boys. To you, 
I'm still in a dream, Stankita. from 600 nine likes from 600 give it a like please i appreciate you guys so much for all your love today you've been crazy as hell i know it's been a, it was a little bit of a shorter show i usually go two and a half and this only 215 um i'm just real fucking fucked up but i'm so glad i got to spend some time with you guys today and i'm so glad you still choose to support me after all the crazy shit and all the ups and downs new video tomorrow don't forget very spicy indeed lots of memes it's gonna be very very fun i will see you guys wednesday for a show, it's going to be awesome. And then Monday, I have a guest. It's going to be really fun. And then Saturday, of course, we got Zia. Of course, of course, of course. And then, then the 20th of April, live on Fox Sports 1, I'll be racing at Talladega Super Speedway in the NASCAR Arkham and Odd Series in the 01 Cyberfrog Ford. Don't miss it. You can watch it on TV. It's going to be really cool. If you want to come to the race, come see me. I'll, I'll autograph stuff. We'll have stuff to give away. It's going to be awesome. Richard, you're a bitch. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll see you guys so much. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. I love you. I appreciate you. We're going to raid a queso. Thanks for getting us to 600 locks. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Get on it. Dog on it. Bye. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of breath.